Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, in the city of our God, in the mountain of His holiness. I will extol Thee, my God, O King, and I will bless Thy name forever and ever. Every day I will bless Thee, and I will praise Thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and His greatness is unchurchable. One generation shall praise Thy works to another, and shall declare Thy mighty acts, will speak of the glorious honor of Thy majesty, and of Thy wondrous works. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving, sing praise upon the harp unto our God, who covereth the heaven with clouds, who prepareth rain for the earth, who maketh grass to grow upon the mountains. When I consider thy heavens, thy work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man, that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man, that thou hast visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, ye and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the earth, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the water, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and a fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and the beasts of the earth after his kind, and it was so. And God said, Let us make a man in our image after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the earth and over the cattle, and over the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. In the evening and in the morning were the sixth day, lest the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the hosts of them, and on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he has rested from all his works, which God created and made. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes 
we are healed.